Next Wave DV presents NAB 2013. Made possible by Zeiss. We make it visible. Kessler Crane. Innovative tools for filmmakers. Red Rock Micro. Introducing the one man crew. We're at the Sony booth with Juan talking about the FS700, which caught a lot of attention last year. It caught my attention. I own one now, <laughs> and I love it, absolutely. And uh, it's a great HD camera, but we talked about 4K last year. There wasn't too much you could tell us about, but uh, it's a year later, and I know that there's a lot of stuff happening. So what can you tell us about uh, future 4K? Well, we've ac actually introduced our own 4K recording solution uh, using the same R5 recorder that is used with the F5 and 55. Uh, and an uh, interface module that allows you to take this single BNC connection into this module and then co uh, record a 16-bit linear raw. So we can, using our solution, we can record up to 60 frames per second of 4K linear raw continuous. There's oh, unlimited like 16 time. 16-bit, right? It's 16-bit. Uh, a file format which is fully compatible with existing workflows for the F5, F55, and 65 and we can record up to 240 frames per second continuously, unlimited time, also non-buffered, uh, uh, of 2K. Now, it is possible, in addition, to record buffered 4K up to 120 frames per second. This is 4096 by 2160 uh, 4K raw, uh, up to a four second uh, buffer. Which, which translates to about 20 seconds of uh, playback time. Um, but we've also opened the uh, possibility to third-party solutions to record our signal. And the first one to uh, deliver is Convergent Design with their new Odyssey 7Q uh, uh, recorder. And using this single BNC solution, so we've provided them an SDK that enables them to receive our compressed signal and we deliver an uncompressed signal to the Odyssey. And Odyssey is then converting the signal to either Cinema DNG 2K up to 240 frames continuous or DPX 4K um, uh, up to 30 frames per second. So this is, was a big question mark for a lot of us. Uh, you know, Sony's uh, recorder solution, 16-bit, is amazing, but may, be, may not be the, the workflow that like, even people like myself may not need. And so a third-party recorder going to like 10 or 12 bits is going to be something that we're more interested in. Exactly. We, we, we understood that from the beginning. We wanted to offer the choice because um, uh, they have the possibility to have a, a more economical means of operating, maybe even less bulky. Uh, means of recording 2K or 4K. So, um, 4K, obviously the camera doesn't currently have 4K enabled. What is that going to require in order for that to, to start mm. happening? That's a good question. We're going to have to do a hardware level um, upgrade to the camera and, and new firmware. And the camera then acquire S-Log 2 for monitoring. Okay. So you'll be able to, um, uh, if you use a Sony solution, then you'll be able to get out of the R5 uh, monitor out. You will see an S log um, uh, LUT applied okay. to the to the HD out for monitoring. And Odyssey will do their own LUT internally mm -hmm. uh, to their own display. Uh, the camera um, will pretty much uh, require both a hardware and a software uh, upgrade. Do we have any price points announced for that? No. Uh, we're concerned about that, so there, there's obviously some cost uh, to have a service facility upgrade the camera, and we're, we're trying to understand what these costs are going to be and, and uh, see if we can uh, diminish them or make them go away. We don't, we don't know if it's, if it's possible to completely eliminate them, but we're looking into that. I'd be very happy with that myself. <laughs> Um, so we, we know that the, the uh, R5 recorder and the, the module for the FS700 uh, was going to be shipping in summer. The Odyssey is going to be shipping possibly July. Uh, when will the 4K be able to be running to the Odyssey? 
Yes, in, in uh, proximity, we expect that it should be simultaneously with the proxy, with the Odyssey introduction. And our own solution will be about the same time. So the FS700, it got a lot of buzz. Uh, we've seen it online a lot. I mean, like I said, I, I own one now. Um, how has that feedback been for you guys? Because there's a lot of 4K options out there. Obviously, Red and their Scarlet was, was a lower costing option. The FS700 with the promise of 4K got a lot of attention. Now that things are starting to finalize, uh, do you guys really feel that the FS700 is the the go-to 4K solution for people on a, on a lower Oh, absolutely. Budget? Because uh, the camera has a truly, absolutely exquisite um, uh, image. Uh, it produces a beautiful image, and we are able to to preserve that with the 16-bit linear rule or into the Odyssey uh, recording, uh, and uh, people will have a much better choice. Plus, you you have a solution that you don't have to wait to develop it to see what you got. You can see it live. This can also play back, uh, so it is possible to see what you're doing and uh, while you're shooting. So now, obviously, you said that you know your goal is to try and keep the cost as low as possible for the upgrade for 4K, um, and I'm assuming someday these will ship with a 4K just uh, in in the box. Possibly someday there may be a um, a different model. It's obviously uh, so we're also thinking about those things sure. and um, may have uh, maybe you know different options as well. So what about people that, like 4K isn't really on the top of their list, but there's recorders out there like the Atomist Ninja and stuff that records to a 10-bit, a little bit more flexibility in post, a higher end that clients might be demanding. Mm -hmm. uh, when this upgrade happens, will people be able to use those with a higher end rather yeah, than they, they, they will because, uh, well, the camera can output S-Log too. So uh, it's added to the picture profile. So you can use that with anybody's recorder. Oh. So you can have a lot more dynamic range. Um, and um, so, and there'll be other things that will be included in the in the new firmware as well. Okay. One one thing that I've noticed personally with the the uh, FS700, and it isn't the only camera out there, but sometimes there's some the aliasing and color fringing that happens on blown highlights. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that there might be a limitation to the 8-bit codec. Is that something that might be resolved with a? Uh, with it will be improved end? with S-Log2 and okay. with linear. So there will be. Uh, uh, less of a restriction. Um, I cannot say how many stops uh, latitude yet because I want to measure it myself. Sure. But uh, it, sh it will be an improvement over what you can record to uh, to ABC. And then for on the camera, is there anything that's going to change? You know, obviously record direct to SD. You're currently working with ABC HD 8-bit codec. The camera will be able to record uh, ABC HD while simultaneously outputting. Um, the 4K raw signal. Okay, so you will have a proxy Great. with the same time code. The file name will not be the same because unfortunately we're constrained by the ABCHD standard. So we have to follow the ABCHD standard. Uh, but the uh, time code will be identical. Are there any other improvements that will happen in the, internally in the camera? Uh, is it still going to be the, the standard 8-bit 422? Uh, yes, recording? because that is defined by the compression engine that's in the camera, the hardware is for ABCHD, so it will be uh, constrained by that. Okay. Uh, well, we're excited. I'm, I'm glad to see that this wasn't something that was left behind. There, there's a lot of concern. So the, the F5 and the F55 are great looking cameras, and, and there's a lot of people that are wondering, is the FS700 going to get left in the dust? But I'm hearing that you guys have thought this out very well, and there's a lot of great things coming. Yes, we have offered this to um, several partners. And uh, we're continuing to develop um, relationships and, and try to make the camera uh, interoperable and more accessible to different applications. Good. Thanks for your time, Juan. Well, thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to Next Wave TV, where filmmakers get educated.